Yes, in this module, we are going to discuss what are the solutions for exercise 1 in congruency rules of triangles. So, here, what is meant by congruency rule? Why it is required? So, in order to find the, uh, let us take any two triangles. We know the one triangle and we know the uh, another triangle, some measurements and we know the some measurements from other triangles. So, if both are equal, they will have both the dimensions will be equal then you can say that the two triangles will be congruent to each other. So, here SSS congruency is nothing but in any given two triangles, all the sides from one triangle to all the remaining sides in another triangle will be match. It will going to match with any one of the sides like uh, in any triangle we will see here. So, in our question, first one, based on SSS congruency rule, please check is that congruent satisfying or not, we have to check. So, here, what is the rule is here let us start with one line which is strike out with the one side so that is bc bc line segment is congruent to here where is that is bn or bn or nb whatever it is so let us take nb both are congruent to each other next be let us start with b E in NBE triangle is congruent to CA in ABC triangle. CA is congruent to BE here. Okay. Then EN EN is congruent to EN is congruent to AB. So, here what you can say is in triangle here we need to see the sequence where you are started from which one line and where you are going with the I am following here is NB. So, NB to B and EA. So, here BC, AC uh, sorry CA and AB that is the rule we are followed. So, then what you can say is all sides are corresponding sides are equal in both the triangles then what you can say is triangle. NBE NBE is congruent to triangle here NB means here NB is there for that NB is one line is there for that measurement only you have to take then you have to go with BE only you should not come EB like that so NB NB for here BC then BE is two lines for that CA so what is the thing he is here is triangle BCA whatever so here nb is equal to bc b is congruent to ca and n e is congruent to ba so like that format it is there next one so here second one is so what is that triangles is let's take two triangles ld a and ld s so let's take two triangles in this given so, what is that is let us take LD is congruent to in this LDA, LD is congruent to LD in that. Next here 4 centimeter is there. So, let us take LDA is congruent to DS, LDA is congruent to DS in this triangle. Then what LS or SL is not congruent to DA. That is LSC is 2.5 centimeter and DA is 3, 3 centimeter. Then three sides are not equal, three sides are not congruent to each other. Then what you can say is that triangle LDLA is not congruent to triangle LDS. So both, therefore, two triangles. are not congruent congruent by SSS congruency criterion. So why because here both the measurements are different here by the three sides. So here LD is a common in that. Next question. So our second question is we need to tell is that congruent shapes are 
what are the angles we have to find for that congruent triangles so here triangle pqt pqt is congruent to triangle rqs so why because i am starting from one single line and i am going the direction of third line so three sides so like that we have to strike that q so for that we have to go from r we have to come to q then we have to go in this direction so like the directions only you have to go you should not go q or s for the pqt you should not take tpq tqp for that uh, or qs like that whatever dimension we what takes for that corresponding that only you should move then what simply if you already we are written congruency to congruency criterions then simply you can write angle p will be equal to angle r angle q will be equal to angle q angle t will be equal to angle s these are the congruency angles for the remaining things or you can write in the format of angle angles are like this then sides also we can write what is that is first pq is congruent to first p with that first r first second q with the second letter so pq first rq then qt let's take two of this qt is congruent to qs so is congruent to qs then pt you can take or tp you can take if you will take pt is congruent to rs first and last so if you know how to write congruency triangles then it's easy to write anything in a given question next one so second one we have to write congruency triangles what is that is so here let's start with the base uh, r o s you can write anything or r o s r s or o anything you can write why because here 4 cm here 4 4 cm there also 4 4 cm so let's write triangle r o s is congruent to triangle p o s p o q so these two triangles are congruent to each other why because below rs and above pq are both dimensions and remaining p o o q and r o o s or r same so for that so what is that angle is angle r will be equal to angle p first and first angle o will be equal to angle o next angle s will be equal to angle q so first with the first first triangle first uh, vertex with the first vertex in another triangle second vertex in the first one and second vertex in the second triangle and third vertex in first triangle and third vertex in second triangle and what are the sides is so from this r o s and p o q what you can write is r o is congruent to p o then o s is congruent to o q then r s is congruent to p q so, how, so without seeing your figure you can write the congruency rules and congruency angles how is we should know what is the format of given triangle congruency types so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts and comments please give in the uh, comment section and please subscribe